The Community Partnership Fund is part of the digital strategy, New Zealand's plan for our digital future. Under the Community Partnership Fund, communities defined their own ICT needs and then applied through a contestable process. The Community Partnership Fund is a great example of community, business and government working together to develop regional and national ICT initiatives for New Zealand. The foundation of the Blinds Library currently circulates books and magazines on cassette and the cassette is really starting to die. Um, they're not being made anymore, the machines aren't being produced anymore, neither is the copying equipment. So we decided to see if we could distribute our books over the internet. We worked with Humanware, the New Zealand company, to develop an internet capable digital talking book player. We did this uh, funded significantly through the Community Partnership Fund. Now we're developing the player a bit more to, to include the lessons that we learned while we ran our pilot with 40 of our members and we hope to start the real live library service early in 2009. I had the opportunity to trial this new digital talking book player which I found absolutely magnificent convenient, um, easy to use, quality of sound is wonderful, and the ability to have a new book on your player within a minute is just marvellous. We knew we could change the service dimension. The technology's out there, yes, but what we knew we could do was provide a much better library service by introducing internet delivery. There's far more titles available digitally than in our analogue collection. Uh, we'll have access to about four times the number of titles by June 2010 than we do now. And we can get copies of books out to borrowers really quickly. So all the borrowers who want a popular title can have that popular title within a day instead of waiting weeks or months or even years, which is the case today. And if you subscribe to magazines, as soon as a magazine is finished, all the copies of the magazine go out to all the people who've requested it um, within a matter of hours of the narration being finished. The players are wireless capable. You can skip around the talking book if you want to, or you can read it from start to finish. Uh, as you might have done normally. And then when you get to the end, you push the return the book to the library key and the library sends out another book uh, over the internet. Yes, it's very, it, it's very versatile and it's easy to use. But like anything new, it takes a little bit of practice, a little bit of experimentation, but it is easy to use and uh, even elderly people who have come in contact, who have used the machine, say, I was a little bit frightened to use it at first, but once I used it and I can understand it better, it is just so much easier than the older versions of machines that we've used in the past. I think I will find that I will read more using this machine than I would have in the past because it is so time efficient. New Zealand's certainly pioneering internet distribution to blind people who don't have computers. And now all the blindness libraries in Europe and Britain and the States and Canada and Australia are talking to us to find out what it is that we learned. We hope by the beginning of 2009 to get the program underway.